Hey guys, and welcome to your fifth segment on how to add a user database into your iPhone or iPad application. Uh, today we will be implementing uh, this code that we created in our last tutorial into a, a new, uh, our old iPhone application Xcode project, which is right here. Okay, so this is basically what we had before. I just added a few quick things. Now there's the uh, bull for keys signed in, so that if you're already signed in, it won't show the alert to create an account. Uh, also, if we don't want to sign in, you want to sign up because we're creating a new account there. So those are the few things I've added. So just pause the video, get that down, and then after that, uh, here's the code to upload the score. So it's really simple. All you got to do is, uh, so I just created an NS integer uh, as an example, or just uh, an example for an integer of the score, because uh, we have to upload some integer that is the score. So this is just an example on how to convert that into a string and then upload it. And then an IB action for uploading the score. And then so in the IB action in our .m file, uh, just pause the video, get this down. I'm going to explain it right now, though. So basically what it is, is you're creating an NS string from the integer score. So you're turning the number into a string so that we can add it into the other string, uh, which is the website address. Then you also need to get the username to, upload, to update the score for. So the username we saved last time when you signed in over here, and the username, uh, NS user default, so now it's over here. And, and then put those all into your website address, which is our, the same address that we created last time, which is uploadscore.php. Uh, so if you remember, uh, so name equals username and score. So those are the two variables that, we're, that we need to put into our user uh, URL. So username and score. The username is the string over there, and score. And then it's just that simple. So, uh, I'm going to delete the app from my simulator and just start over so that it looks uh, nice and clean, just like new. We'll create a new account. I have been testing this, so there are a few more accounts in my tutorial, uh, in my or PHP my admin file or whatever. But yeah. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and run in the simulator. You'll notice mine is the 4.0 simulator, but uh, again, as I was saying in all my videos, it really doesn't matter. It's exactly the same for you guys, or if you're using 3.1.2. Oh, it says the simulator is busy. Okay, let's quit the simulator and try again. Loading into the simulator. Here we go. Yeah, so, uh, sorry, I forgot to say, uh, if you go, uh, so we set up the IB action in our .h file. Uh, all you have to do is hook up the IB action to a button. You can call it whatever you want. I just said upload high score or upload score just to be very explanatory. So you just drag that all the way over there. That's it. So then in this simulator, if you tap upload score, and then if we go back over here, and then is it there? Yes. Uh, you go into PHP my admin. So these are the other users that I was creating when I tested this. Okay. Oh right, it saved uh, our username from last time. So. Uh, wait a minute. Oh. I'm sorry, okay, uh, I did one wrong thing over here in the signed in. It didn't create a new account, so it didn't upload the high score correctly. Okay, so over here, when it checks to see if you already signed in, which I told you about before when I started this up. Um, this is a lot of code to copy down, so I created uh, it and showed you guys because this would have been like 20 minutes otherwise. So, here. So it's asking if, so it says if you are signed in, uh, then show the alert, but we don't want it to show the alert if you're signed in. 
so you put, uh, do a little exclamation point in front of it saying, so if you're not signed in, now it should work like that. So save, building on, okay. And there we go. Okay, so let's just create a username and test user two or view two. Password. And then sign up. And now let's go in the PHP my admin. Go into stats. You see test user two. Um, first test user was from last time. Test user two, password. It's password. Okay, so now test user 2, the score equals 0. So now let's see if we can change that. Hmm. Upload score. 